Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are going to learn about elastic load balancers, also known as ELBs. And what they do is they allow you to put a load balancer uh, in front of your instances. And the idea is that when traffic comes uh, into your web application, it's going to flow, flow through the uh, load balancer, and it's going to evenly distribute uh, that traffic to multiple instances. Uh, and your instances generally will be running in different availability zones. So if one AZ uh, becomes unavailable, then your traffic will then go to the other AZ where you have an instance running. So you do not experience a downtime uh, uh, and your uh, web application remains running, okay? So now that we have an idea what ELBs are, let's go ahead and launch a few instances so that uh, we have something to load balance to. And so I'm gonna choose Amazon Linux 2 here. We are going to stick with the T2 Micro because it is free. I want you to select two instances here, okay? And uh, we're gonna leave all the settings alone. Maybe we'll give IM role. We do not need to SSH into, or sorry, use SSM to get into that instance, but it uh, doesn't hurt to attach it there. We're gonna leave storage alone. We're gonna go past tags. We're gonna go to our security groups. I'm gonna set it to an existing one and use the default one. Every time you create a, um, uh, an instance, it seems like it really encourages you to keep making new uh, security groups. We don't need to have a bunch of these, so we will just go and use the existing one. And I'm going to uh, review and then launch. And I'm gonna drop down here and proceed without a key pair because we don't need a key pair. Uh, and so now these instances are going to uh, uh, start up here and I'm just going to wait until they get into um, a running state with two status checks and we'll go ahead and create our ELB. All right, so our two uh, instances are ready here and I just wanna go ahead and give them a name. So I'm gonna just call this one instance A and then we will call this one instance uh, B. Okay. And uh, now that I have those two instances, let's go uh, make our way over to um, uh, load balancing here. It's under the EC2 console. And so we will click here. And what we will do is we will create ourselves a new load balancer. Now there are three types of load balancers. We have application load balancer, uh, network load balancer, and classic load balancer. We are gonna be using application load balancer here. And that's generally what you're gonna be wanting to use. We are gonna type in ALB. Uh, or maybe my ALB here. Uh, it will be internet facing, okay? Um, we need to ensure that it's running in at least two availability zones or it's going to complain to us. Uh, uh, so we will go ahead and do that. Uh, we will go to the next step here. We aren't using uh, SSL or HTTPS, so uh, we don't have to do anything here. Um, for security groups, we will use the existing security group, the default one, so that's totally fine. And uh, for configuring routing, we're gonna have to create a new target group. A target group um, contains ref or, uh, a reference to the instances which we want to route traffic to. Uh, so uh, we are just going to make a new one. I'm gonna just say my target group here. And uh, we can route things to uh, different things. So it could be instances or specific IPs or lambdas. So we're gonna stick with instances and we're gonna go ahead here and register uh, those targets. So here we can see we have instances here. I'm just gonna select them and add to register. So now they are registered up here. We're gonna hit next, um, and then we are gonna go ahead and create, okay? And so it takes very little time uh, for a load balancer to create. We will then uh, hit close here. And uh, this load balancer is now just provisioning. So we're just gonna wait here a little while until this is uh, provisioned. And you just have to hit the refresh here um, and uh, see when this is ready. All right, so um, our load balancer is ready. It didn't really take that long. It took about a minute or so. Uh, and so just to poke around here, um, you can see that uh, this load balancer here has a DNS name, okay? So this uh, DNS name, just looks like a domain name. And the way you would um, route your traffic to the Elastic Load Balancer is you would actually point it to here. Okay, and so uh, all the traffic would go here and then it would then uh, go on to the listeners. And the, the listeners listen on a particular port. So this is port 80. Uh, and then uh, it's going to then have rules, which is going to um, forward this traffic to that target group. If we click into this target group here, all right. Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to show us um, the actual target. So if we go over here and look at targets, it's going to then route it to the registered targets. So that's how an elastic load balancer works. Um, and that's all we really need to know uh, for this, but just to show you how to make an uh, elastic load balancer. So now that we're done here, let's go tear this stuff down. So we'll go ahead here and we will just go delete this load balancer. 
Now, unlike the auto scaling group, which would actually tear down the instances, we have to take these instances down ourselves. And so what I want you to do is select A and B here, and we are just going to uh, terminate these here. Okay, and that is our elastic load balancer section.